by providing you with two advanced training parameters, peak training effect and recovery time. The Sunto Ambit allows you to measure the impact of each training session and helps you ensure that your training is as effective as possible for reaching your specific goals. You've probably heard about training effect and recovery time, but let's just go over what these measurements tell you about your training session. Let's first take a look at training effect, which is measured from the highest epoch value of the session. Epoch stands for excess post-exercise oxygen consumption, and it tells you how much additional oxygen your body needs to recover from the training session. As you can see from the yellow line, epoch starts accumulating from the very start of this one-hour session. If you select it to be displayed during your training, you can see the estimated effect of the training session on your peak performance on a scale of 1 to 5, from minor effect to overreaching effect. As you can see from the two bars on the left side of the graph, the same training session has different impacts on peak performance depending on your fitness level. For the fitter person, represented by the right bar, the session has a training effect of 4, while for the less fit person, represented by the left bar, the same session has an overreaching effect of 5. It is important to realize that because training effect only refers to the effect on peak performance, it does not increase after the peak epoch has been reached. It is therefore perhaps more useful to think of training effect as peak training effect. In other words, the impact a training session has on your maximal aerobic performance, or VO2 max. The mathematical modeling of peak training effect was fully developed by Suunto and is optimized for Suunto devices. Now let's look at the second advanced training parameter offered by Sunto Ambit, recovery time. Even though in this example, the peak training effect was reached after 20 minutes, you can bet that the runner felt more tired at 60 minutes than at 20. So those last 40 minutes make you more tired, but they also dramatically improve your endurance so you can tolerate longer, harder sessions in the future. Sunto Ambit's recovery time measurement is an estimate of how long your body needs to recover from a training session. The bigger the effect, the longer the needed recovery time. Let's look at an example of the correlation between peak training effect and recovery time. Unlike peak training effect, the recovery time measurement accumulates throughout the whole session, even at low intensities. Recovery time tells you more about the effect your training has on your base endurance and is therefore a very useful addition to the peak training effect measurement. So whether you're interested in how your training affects your peak performance, base endurance, or both, with peak training effect and recovery time measurements, Sunto Ambit will keep you informed every step of the way.